This is a Cessna turn coordinator. This one had a problem. This capacitor here on top is like a filter capacitor for the power supply. Um, it had failed in a short, and that took out a trace on the back of the board here, as well as a diode on that side. So I've replaced those, and it seems to be working. That capacitor is just to stand in until we can get a get one the light lead that comes out of both sides. Anyway, the way the gyro works is pretty cool here. You can see it real well now that it's opened up. The gyro itself is this wheel in the middle. There's a three-phase motor inside of there. I think the wheel itself has some permanent magnets in it. And there's a stator in the middle that's driven by this controller back here. This is like a little, a little uh, inverter. When the, so this gyro, this wheel spins up. And then when the airplane turns, the procession makes this roll one way or the other. And you've got these springs back here that return it back to neutral. So it's rate of turn, not absolute position. So I'll go ahead and turn the power supply in here and watch it spin up. That's about max speed there. So it's kind of fun to watch if you, you kind of see the position it's in there if you roll it. Or if you remove it, you know, if the airplane's yawning. Let's see how that rolls over indicating you're turning and then those springs pull it back to neutral after the turn stops So we should see a left turn happen. That levels out. bearing there is a little bit sticky. I'm not sure if it should be that slow to return, but anyway, electronics are working. <laughs> 